Right, oh yeah, so <clears throat> been a while since I've done a video, but we'll do a quick update on the Alpex um, 4K A50EL. Now there's been a firmware update released for this. It's a 5.5.24. Now all this gives you inside here is I'll hit a screen record and you can watch through what I do, but everything fundamentally is the same on uh, the old firmware, but what the firmware now entails is where you had uh, individual ballistic profiles, you had say profiles A, B, C, D, E, then you had ballistic page one, two, three, four, five. It now incorporates that into every internal um, ballistic profile you get. So if I hit screen record on this now, you'll see. As I go through the top top left hand, you'll still still see C1 100. So profile C, first uh, profile within that block at number one and zero to 100. Now this is where it takes your ballistic information. Underneath that, you'll see 55. So 55 grain Vmax, you can name that. And within that internal function there, you'll see um, it's all incorporated in with the zero. So if I change that to D1, I'd have its own ballistic page. If you changed it to C2, it'd have its own ballistic page as well. And you can name them individually at each one. So press and hold the menu. Everything's still the same there. Daylight contrast, albums, advanced settings. So profile C, and obviously then you've got zero in. Within that zero menu now, you've got uh, your bullet there. So 55 grain. And then you've got your type, obviously your reticle. You've got the reticle color then you've got the reticle center color so i could have the red main reticle and a green uh center if i wanted to that's denoted there center color then you've got correction that's where you make your corrections with your x and y and the next one there is ballistic page so you've got that on and off and then you've got your aim point color marker so i have that as a green circle and then your style and then your ballistic page so all your ballistic data as it would go in for each profile is set within that page there. So you save that. And like I said, if I change that to D, I could have that then set within the zeroing function. Obviously profile D is my air rifle. So I've got that named as the JSB. And then if I change that, I could have that as obviously my, um, Want to put the scope onto the air rifle that's good to go but i could then change that to page two and that gives me the option there then to name a different one so i could have jsb on d1 and then i could have uh, slugs on d2 and you can zero and name each profile in that respect that way so that's all the big differences that's come on the um on the new firmware so Alpex again, still the king of the night vision, um, but that's all that's really changed. So you can now incorporate that all within there. It gives you a lot more options. So save the hassle as I, as I used to have it with profile A equaling ballistic page one. You can now just have it, whichever one you're on, you can have your own individual ballistic page and that will retain your data in each one there. And something else that's uh, been changed so if you've got your laser range finder there so i'll just change this profile back to one so i don't mess that up and then if i change it back to c which is set for my 223 now if i laser target there you now get your you get your range come up just top right of your center of the reticle and you can have that to true holdover distance or the actual distance. So true holdovers uh, written in in the red and the actual distance is written in, in the white. So you can turn that on and off as well. Um, it's just something you want on there. If I don't really know why you'd have that on there. So the distance is the distance. Alpex has never let me down ever for any firmware update or anything like that. So 
that's the big changes. Um, again, don't forget to do a restore after um, you do a firmware update, even though it does it automatically, just do it anyway. All you'll lose, you won't lose any zero data, but you will lose your settings like if you've got smart IR turned on, your microphone turned on, or your ballistic data. So it's worth taking uh, a note of that. Easiest way I find to do that is do live view on your phone, go into the ballistic menu, and just take a screenshot on your phone, and then you've got it saved. And then you can just keep that in your notes section on your phone. And should the worst happen, if your scope does have a little meltdown, you've got your data there ready to go back in. So that's that. And uh, look forward to getting, getting some use out of this and giving it a good test. Cheers.